Hi, I'm Randall. I didn't always know how to wear clothes, or wear them appropriately, or push them to the limit as I struggle with my weight, but I always had a certain je ne sais quoi. And look at me now! Whether it's home decor, entertaining, or fashion, I'm here to help others find their inner Randall. But as perfect as I am, I have lots to learn and strive to step outside my labatons. So join me on my fabulous adventures as I help others and learn something on the way. This is Randall to the rescue. Oh, welcome to Randall to the rescue. As a fabulista, I get so many requests from you lovely people looking for help. I did receive a few interesting requests today. One from a mime, it was blank, and one from an astronaut whose request was out of this world, but I did receive this interesting letter. Dear Randall, being fabulous is no easy task. Well, that is an understatement of the century. I love hosting parties for children. Okay. And as a professional party princess, step down, but I crave a real tea party with mature intellectual company. Would you please join me for tea? Perhaps. In exchange, I will teach you how to be a professional party princess for all your future party needs. Royally yours, Princess Liz. You know what, Liz? I think I'm prepared to take that step down to your level. And as a Scottish Lord, I accept your challenge to the Randallmobile. Randall to the rescue. Ta-da! Okay, so we are at the Orange Hub, and today I'm going to be a princess at a birthday party. Now, I've never been a princess before. I've been a lot of royalty, but never a princess. I didn't know what to bring, so I've got a dress and this little understated piece, and of course my silver shoes. Um, I don't really know what to expect, and this is going to be very interesting. I don't think I'm actually going to end up looking like a princess, probably more like a dowager empress or one of the evil queens from Disney. But let's go see what happens. Come on. Okay, so I have a beard and obviously princes don't have beards. So I thought, why don't we zhuzh it? We're going to zhuzh it by doing a glitter beard. Now, one of my producers, Faisal, is going to be doing it for me. He's never done a glitter beard before, so wish us luck. So I have a template that I place on my face. And now Faisal is going to soak my beard in hairspray. And probably do a little bit more. Okay, and now he's just going to dump glitter all over it. I've had so much fun playing with my beard. I like doing beard jewelry, but in this instance, as you see, I'm doing a glitter beard. Now, some guys use incredible adhesives like glue and that sort of thing, but I think that's just too much work. Hairspray works fantastic. It sticks, it washes out easy, but you do get glitter absolutely everywhere. Now, don't be afraid to play with colors. So I've done pride flag glitter beards. Um, I've done glitter beards to match different outfits. And in this case, as you can see, it's a metallic silver, and I think they're just a great thing to do. And there, I have a glitter beard. So this is Donald Goodhart, and he's gonna do my eyes for me. I've never had my eyes done before, and I'm super excited. Um, tell me a little bit about the process. So we're creating kind of a drag look. Yeah. So we're gonna get rid of the shape of your natural brows. We're okay. gonna elevate everything and have a high pigment color and just some you already have glitter, so you're not afraid of it. Maybe add some shine. I love shine. So how long have you been doing makeup? A little over 10 years. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. I think I found my new best friend. <laughs> That's awesome. Shall we get started? I think so. Okay, let's do it.
we go. Well, I think I look amazing. Thank you, Donald, okay. so much. So if someone wants to get a hold of you, how could they do that? Yeah, uh, best bet's probably Instagram or yep. my website. It's makeup.by.donny or makeupbydonny.com and you can reach me there. Awesome. Well, this has been so great. I can't wait to get into my outfit and then go scare the children with the Dowager Evil Queen Disney whatever. Well, I hope, I hope, hope kind of hope you do. So <laughs> 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 Nothing better than scaring kids at a birthday party. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you so yeah, much. You're Hello, Queen Randall. Hey, Liz. Hey. So, uh, you ready to do this? Yeah. Okay, this was way more prep than I had realized. It's a lot of work it's to a become a princess. It's a lot of work. Like, I've got two sets of eyelashes on. I can barely keep my eyes open. Uh, yeah, there's the weight of it. You gotta, like, work up those I'm muscles. I'm gonna have, like, big buff eyelids and... I think my head's gonna crash in from the weight of the crown, but no, it's to help to keep your proper posture. There we go. So oh, that your proper, crown that's right. Doesn't fall. That's right, and that's why I can't. I can't actually look down at them because if it does, it'll fall off and probably crush one of them under yeah, the weight right. of the crown. Be very graceful. <laughs> exactly. I shall look down upon them. He stoops to conquer. <laughs> but gently, because otherwise. <laughs> so you got some tips for me because I've never done a kids party before. Absolutely, I have you covered. Okay, let's go do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, why do we sit? Up here. I have to watch my crown. I only have so much clearance on, on either either. side. <laughs> yes, very gentle. So how long have you been doing uh, the princess party thing? Oh, you're making me actually think about my age. Okay, um, you've been doing it since you were four. <laughs> you've been doing it 20 like, years. Or like professionally? Yeah. Or, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I, I, my friend had told me about a friend of theirs that was doing this, and like they didn't have stuff like this when I was a kid. Okay. But essentially, a princess for hire is like Santa Claus crossed with a party clown. <laughs> Santa Claus crossed with a party clown. Amazing. Yeah. So you you um you have like the uh, uh, your figure that everybody knows. You yeah. recognize Santa Claus. Yeah. But then you you come up to the, the party and. Yeah in character, then you entertain all of the kids okay. and you kind of guide the party. Like, do you have a script you follow? Um, it's not a script exactly yeah. because... Like a like, guideline. Right? I have I have like a mental guideline uh, right. with a lot of flexibility built in because right. you're dealing with kids. Right. And um, it's been funny because like some parents feel like things have to go a certain way at right. parties. It's like, have you ever been to a kid's party? Right. Have you ever heard of cats? Right, that's yeah, exactly, let's, exactly. we're gonna herd them. So yeah. I have a general outline right. of things that I do, right. but I don't have a, a firm script because you never know. And like some kids really have something in their heart that like they really want this. Or, right. So you yeah, have a flow right. and so adaptability. So tell me some of the challenges about being a party princess. Um, well, there's a reason we don't wear ball gowns on a everyday basis anymore. Have you ever tried doing things in a ball gown? It's, no, I haven't, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, like, it's it's one of, like, it's surprisingly way more complicated than you'd think and, okay. and restrictive. Okay. Um, so, you know, like, when you think of, like, oh, princess always are like this with yeah. their arms. Yeah. You know why? I can't freaking lift them. <laughs> like, like I'm in my That's dress. True. This, this is, is literally it. as this high as my it. arms can go. Yeah, I can't so bend then, over my crown. And then there's no, off. there's no where to go. So like, this yeah. is like my range of motion with my arms. Well, see, and this is the thing. So people actually used to dress this way to show people their status. Because Meaning, I'm so helpless. I'm well, like a T-Rex. Do, do you know why women wear high heel shoes and men wore high heel shoes in the 18th century? because they were very difficult to walk in, so it showed status, meaning obviously you don't have to work or walk because yeah. these shoes are so uncomfortable. Because they're so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. anyways. I love that. So that's great, but yeah. also you're with kids right now and right. you're running a kid party. Right. Uh, like parents on a great day, right. trying to like get the kids right. in line and then you get them all together with sugar. Right. It's nuts. But you're in a ball gown. <laughs> Let's give them sugar. Yeah, so then I'm restricted in yeah. my motions yeah. in a ball gown, but also trying to, to organize a party with right. the kids. Right, right. And they're also so warm. Oh my goodness. The dresses. Yes. I know it's a little on the well, 
Yeah. Well, uh, do you have, are you wearing crinolines? No. Okay, the crinolines underneath act as like insulators. Oh dear. Yes, and so then you're just like the sauna and the longer your party goes yeah. on and the more running around after yeah. the kids, the sauna gets hotter and hotter <laughs> and then you feel the sweat dripping down your leg. <laughs> And then on the inside, you're like, oh my God, I'm so gross right now, but you can't yeah. let that out. So then on the outside, you're like, oh, lovely princess, so, so gracious. So maybe you should look at it like you're <laughs> detoxing. I, I guess. But just the lower half of your body. So oh all the God. important organs like your liver and stuff don't get detoxed because your legs are way. healthy. Your pores are <laughs> clean. <laughs> yeah, so then I so were lucky to like get, get back and like, oh, thank God. So then I like, you lift up and like, the, the heat. heat just whooshes <laughs> out. Is it like opening like a furnace, you know, like a, a fire furnace when you lift the skirt up? Like, yeah, because there's such a temperature difference right. of like a whoosh right. after. So like, princess up top, dragon in the bottom. Yeah, it's like <laughs> melting. <laughs> the queen was melting because of her dress. It wasn't right. the water, it was sweat. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the wicked witch didn't melt because the water, she was just like sweating like, it out. This and sweating it out. Well, I'm hoping at the end of this, I'm like 10 pounds lighter because of water loss possible Ooh. but the one thing you gotta remember though yeah princesses smell nice oh. so you gotta get a little spritz yeah. of perfume first yeah well i did put some cologne on Kay. thank goodness okay because that's true yeah kids want you to smell nice the thing that i'm thinking about is my glitter beard now so you know how when you get a cold sore once you get cold sores for the rest of your life yeah that's what glitter is like it never leaves. This will it's never leave me. I will have this in me for the rest of my life. Like, you glitter know, day, forever. days. From, so I just tell people now, oh, um, no, that's not glitter. I, I, that's my sweat. I just sweat out glitter. I sweat glitter. Yeah, that's what I do. Beard. Exactly, exactly, everywhere. Because it will end up everywhere in my house when I get home. Oh, and, and even as you walk, there'll be like a little magical. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of... It's, my, it's my breadcrumbs to help me find the palace again. Where did I go? I don't, oh, let's here's my glitter. glitter trail. Exactly. It's not follow the yellow brick road, it's follow, it's follow the my glitter. glitter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Do you have any questions about anything to know for parties? I don't think so. I just am kind of curious to see how this is kind of going to go because I have no idea. So I'm just going to follow your lead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready Let's to do go? this. I'm gonna lift my skirt up so I don't trip and uh, fall. Okay, wait, wait. And break, Vent, break back. Wait. Did you Vent guys, did you guys notice? I don't have anything on today. Just the scars from when I was injured filming an episode. I should have zhuzhed it. Anyway. Well, you've got you've got zhuzh here. I do have zhuzh here. Okay, yeah, ready? You've got lots of zhuzh. Anyway, I'm lifting okay, wait, up my skirt. Vent, vent out the heat real quick I, first. I'm lifting up my skirt so last I don't chance, fall. Last chance. Last <laughs> chance. Okay, this is it. Whoosh. Okay, ready? Okay. okay. And we rise and we're off. After a big vent, it was off to learn how to be a princess for the kids. Some warm-up curtsy squats, then off to the spa to learn how to paint nails, some physio waves, ow, 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 and then learning how to read to the children and not at them. Finally, a small vent. Ha, 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 ha. I think you're ready. Thanks. It's time to go meet the kids. <laughs> this is the scariest part of the whole episode. Not the eyes, nothing. It's the kids. It's kids. Okay. Yeah. Let's go it's okay. Okay. Ready? Big breath. Zen. You got okay. this, queen. Let's go. Come here, kids. Come to mama. <laughs> Jenna from episode one made a reappearance, and this time the baby was on the outside. The kids weren't sure quite what to do with the dowager diva but they soon got into it and were waving happily. Hello, everyone. Hello, ladies. We have Queen Randall with us I'm here Queen today. Randall. Would you guys like to have a princess party? Yeah. Yeah, yeah party, yay. Okay, <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is have some tea for us. That's right. I know you already have one. Yeah, and your chart's amazing. So, what color do you want? I think do... we should do Kiss the Frog. We're going to do Kiss the Frog next? Let's kiss okay. the frog. I have kissed many frogs. Let me tell you, I got this down pat. Let's kiss a frog. Okay, well, it's for them to kiss the frog. Okay, okay. you guys kiss a frog. Okay, okay. Let's you go like over here. like being a teenager here. all over again. Kiss the frog! Kiss the frog! I'm here! <laughs> 
<laughs> with this lip. <laughs> <laughs> put the felt lips on the yeah. front. Oh, she wants to kiss you. Aw, okay, we're gonna put it on here like that. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Ready? Yeah. They never mastered kissing the frog, but they've got lots of frogs ahead of them to kiss. So we decided to move on to the spa and some nail paint. Now it was time to gossip, as you do in the spa, and then of course, wave it off, wave it off, ladies. Oh Lord, I do great work. Now it was time to read Fancy Nancy. I like Fancy Nancy, but realized once again that I was reading at the children and not to them. See, but I learned. It was at this point that I realized that this is illegal in Texas and probably several other states. I never had a pinata when I was a kid and I was looking forward to whacking it. But pinatas nowadays are different and you pull a ribbon? I don't know, this doesn't seem to be working. It was time to do it the old fashioned way. Been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> never played baseball before so not sure why I spat in my hands. You know what? This was the best therapy session ever. <laughs> Don't mess with mommy dearest. The kids dove right into the candy and with nowhere to put it, we decided to improvise with the skirt. I'm pretty sure this is illegal in the States too, but if we cover it with a hymn, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, it's okay. And now it was time for cake. It turned out that it was my birthday they were celebrating. The Dowager Diva reigns. And look at all that glitter on my decolletage. Every princess loves cake. Okay kids, well thank you for celebrating Queen Randall's first birthday. Did you have fun? Yay! I'm so happy. Oh, we lost Spider-Man again. They did not have fun. <sighs> Whew, it was right. Kids are exhausting. Yeah, it gets so hot. I know, that's a lot of work. But I'm so glad I have got this thing now. My mother would have loved this. Anyway, I think it's time now for some adult time oh, so that we can you. revive from that sinking feeling. Should we get some high tea? That would be delightful. Let us be off to tea then, shall we, darling? Why, thank you, Queen Randall. Come, let us off to tea. You know one of the good things about tea? What's that? More cake. So the birthday party is done. It was fun, it was more work than I thought, but now it's time for some adult time and I'm gonna show Liz the beauty of a great high tea. We're at the Art of Cake, we're all set up, so come on in. We're at the Art of Cake for high tea and I'm with Gloria who is the owner operator of Art of Cake. So tell me a bit about how you got into the cake making business and your history. Well, my husband and I, we had worked at some of the best establishments in the city, and we just got to a point in both of our careers that we decided it was time to do it on our own. I remember when you used to be in the basement of Edmonton Centre. Yes, that is correct. And how long have you been in this space? We are in our seventh year in this beautiful space. Wow, and yes. it is a beautiful space, truly. Um, I love all the antiques. I love the other space you have where you do speakeasies on Friday nights with live music. Yep. That's... Fridays and Saturdays. Yep. Oh, Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah. That's, that's really fun. Um, and I've also had the opportunity to work with you a bit on some events that uh, I had the opportunity to plan. And your cakes are absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Now, I have to admit, I haven't experienced your high tea. I've been to some fabulous high teas around the world, but I'm really looking forward to trying yours. And I'm looking forward to introducing Liz to some of the ceremony around high tea which is what makes it so fun. So why don't we go do that? Fantastic. Let's, Let's get go. going. Hi, Liz. Hi. Welcome to High Tea. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. Isn't it gorgeous? Here, you get to sit at the head of the table with the guest of honor. Oh, I see you. You're welcome. So, 
I have set this up for a traditional English high tea, and I brought in the silver tea service that I actually purchased at an antique store in Quebec City. Now there is a coffee pot that goes with it, so it's called the seven piece silver tea service, but today we're just using six pieces because we're having tea. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the pieces that are involved. Um, so you recognize the um, regular teapot and cream and sugar of course but this pot you may not recognize which is for the extra grounds you might have at the bottom of your tea which we'll go through in a minute and we also have a hot pot water pot here which is boiling away and I think I might just turn that flame down a bit so we don't boil over and this is so in case you want to make more tea um, as the day goes on or the high tea goes on so first things first we're using loose tea called Cream of Earl, which is specifically made for the Art of Cake from a BC shop, and I think that is very cool. Now, this is a strainer. Now, because we're using loose tea, which is what you use for a traditional high tea, you need a strainer because you're going to get tea leaves coming through and you don't want to be drinking those. Oh, yeah. Now, I mentioned earlier about the um, pot over there for the extra grounds. Now, if you notice in the bottom of your cup, even though this got out most of the big leaves, still a few small ones fall through. So you yep. wanna make sure that you have that opportunity to be able to get rid of those if you have another cup of tea. Of course, with these, we could maybe be using them for like tea read reading, tea leaf reading. Well, it's at the end of your cup. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't do that, but we'll make something up. Okay. Now, uh, traditionally, English folks have cream or sugar in their tea or lemon. Can I offer you any of those? I would love lemon. Lemon, awesome. So I brought in some fabulous silver tongs. And again, everything about a high tea is about the accoutrement, the uh, extra um, instruments you have to use with the tea. For example, when you're serving loose sugar, you should always have a sugar spoon. So it has a deeper bowl, and this is specifically designed for sugar so that you can get a nice scoop of sugar for your cup of tea or coffee. I actually have a spoon like that at home and I had no idea why it was weird like that. The more you know. <laughs> right? Now you know it's for sugar. And I even brought in porcelain peacock spoons. Aren't those fabulous? These are so cute. The right? <laughs> it's like your peacock nails. Well, I know technically you're not supposed to cheers with tea, but I think we should do a cheers. Absolutely. So you remember how at the kid's birthday party, which technically turned out to be my birthday party, uh, I was Queen Randall? Surprise, but yes. Did you know that I am actually a Scottish Lord? Really? True story, I'm Lord Randall Scott MacDonald of Glencoe. So this is so fanciness for you, sir. This technically is how I ha wake up every morning. How, how? How is, um, is one supposed to address you? Well, um... Because Queen, I mean, obviously... <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not opposed to bowing or okay. kissing my ring or His Royal Highness. Okay. But, you know, um, you can just call me Lord. Though going to church is very confusing. And I'll tell you why. Because it's like, dear Lord, I'm like, yes. Or they're like, oh Lord, and I'm like, yes. You know, so it's very confusing what for now? me. Yeah, exactly. It's very confusing for me. So it would be so draining. You go to church and every time everyone's just like constantly asking you for <laughs> stuff. Asking you for stuff, exactly. We started with the most traditional of high tea sandwiches, the cucumber. The Art of Cake did an amazing job with a great selection of sandwiches, chicken salad, roast beef. We had chocolates, we had scones, everything was delicious. Well, I don't know about you, but I am stuffed. That was delicious. Oh my God, that was so good. Right? Okay, so we only have one thing left to do. Okay. I want you to meet my fantastic, fun, dynamic photographer, Jim. Let's go do a photo shoot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, let's go do a photo shoot. A high photo shoot. So I want you to meet Jim. Hi. Jim! Are you having tea? Were you here the whole time? Oh, that's amazing. He's such a fun guy. And I love that he's got, see, he knew not to put his pinky up. See, even Jim knew not to put his pinky up. He's a smart guy. So Jim, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna, yep, okay. And we're gonna do a photo shoot now.
Wow, that was an amazing time. I can't believe I was able to dance and do photos after being so full. Thank you, Gloria, so much for all the delicious food. Thank you for teaching me about a kid's party and being such an elegant guest at my high tea. Oh, boy, thank you for having me. Uh, saving the day. <laughs> Anytime. Now, it's time for me to head off to the club for a smart cocktail. Can I join you? Yeah. <laughs> Wait up. <laughs> We had a lovely time today, made some special friends, but everything that's fabulous must come to an end. We learned some things and had some laughs, and now it's time to go. But I'll be back for another Fabulista show. Give me another piñata.